Welcome into the LL Football Update Show, sponsored by Kegels Produce. He is Jeff Reinhardt. I'm John Walk. We're out here in Millersville, my alma mater, yes. Penn Manor, where the Comets are coming off a big time win last Friday. Yes. Uh, we'll chat with them in a little bit, and then we'll get into some Week Two action. Can you yes, believe sir. we already have a full week of Two. high school football in the books? Wow! Um, and then we'll get into uh, some of the top games coming up in Week Two. Penn Manor's matchup. Uh, against uh, Lampeter Strasburg and yep. some other stuff. But before we get to that, Mr. Reinhardt here is going to handle some notables and highlights from the first week of action. Hit us yes, with that. Yes, week one in the books. Three things, John. Here we go. You ready? First up, Mac Plummer, Anvil Cleona kicker, 51 yard field goal. 51. It's up and good. Anvil loses to Milton Hershey, I know, 48 16. But Plummer hits from 51. I believe that's an LL record. You know me, I'm scouring all over the place all week. I don't recall any other kid hitting from 50 going way back. So 51 yarder for Mac Plummer. That's awesome. Well done, Mr. Plummer. Uh, Warwick picked up right where they left off. Uh, Joey McCracken throws for 336 yards and four touchdowns. Wow. Uh, Warwick's offense is just frightening. They may have lost Trey Glass. We can touch on that in a minute. But uh, Warriors beat effort 61 0, and Joey McCracken again, 336 and four. Third thing, key wins. I know it's only week one, but these wins really stood out. Wilson beating Central Dolphin. That was big. Mm -hmm. A couple of 6A heavyweights. CD was in the 6A finals last year. Caleb Brown makes his first start at quarterback for Wilson. Bulldogs win 21-13. Played great defense. Held CD to like 40 rushing yards. Bulldogs looking good. Penn Manor, definitely a big win there, beating CB. Glad we got to go see that. 19-13, Comets win, coming off a 1-9 season. So I thought getting a win was great for their mojo and for their psyche. Good job, Comets, hot start. And Columbia, how about Columbia? Beating Eastern York on the road, 35-28 in the River Rivalry Clash. Uh, big night for Matt McCleary, who you know. 200 passing yards, three touchdowns. Tide was one win short of making districts last year. They already get a win out of the shoot here. Uh, great start for Columbia, and they get a really good Lancaster Catholic team here coming up on Friday. And actually, John and I will be at that game up on the hill in Columbia on Friday. Those are my three things. What do you got? All right, that does it for week one. Now we're moving on to week two. And with that said, we're out here at Penn Manor where the comments of a big time game coming up this Friday, traveling to Lampeter Strasburg. Yes. Last Friday, we were out of Conestoga Valley where the comments took care of business against the Buckskins, winning that one 19 to 13. Yes. You mentioned it, a win there, and they're coming off a one win season last year. But one to know for the first time for the comments, first time under. Um, Coach Fifth Brew. year coach John Brubaker, first time they're 1-0 since 2014. Wow. And if they win this Friday, they would be 2-0 for the first time, I believe, since 2013. So mm. Comet's doing good things. Uh, and last Friday they got it done, both sides of the ball, special teams pretty much. And shout out to running back Josh Gibson, 101 yards and a touchdown. Wow. And a shout out to the line in front of him, which included junior linemen Peyton Sadam, Austin Miller, Nick Baker, and Ben Weaver, along with sophomore Pedro Gomez. And the Penn Manor defense, by the way, last year they gave up 40 plus points a game. Oh, yeah. Last week held CV to two scores and under 100 rushing yards. And you got to keep that in mind because they're going to go up against yes. the run heavy Lampeter Strasburg offense this coming Friday. The Pioneers, as we know, run that spread wing T offense. Um, last week, I believe they had six ball carries with at least four or more carries, 200 plus rushing yards yeah. for the Pioneers and that lopsided win over Spring Grove. And with that said, LS will probably have a new quarterback this Sounds coming like Friday. It. Unfortunately, junior Q QB. Sean McTaggart went down, uh, opening kickoff of the second half, just planted, right knee buckled. Um, we believe it's a torn ACL, yeah. so the Pioneers going to try out some new QBs. But yes. either way, they Big have loss. a uh, very capable run game, so that's going to have to be their bread and butter yeah. moving forward with that offense. With that being said, we caught up with the Penn Manor lineman, Nick Baker, yes. a reformed fullback turn lineman this year, which we chat with him, along with uh, wide receiver and defensive back Logan Langenstein. So we throw out to those interviews. Take me back to the CV game. Uh, how important was that to come out of there with a W, get a good taste in your mouth, get some mojo and some good psyche, getting a week one win? Well, it's certainly great waking up Saturday morning with a victory. So it was a fun night for the kids. I mean, that game came down to, you know, they had the ball last possession and stopped them on a fourth down. And we were able to go into the, uh, the victory formation and down the ball and then run out the clock. So ha haven't been able to done that, do that here too much. So. It was nice. It was nice. 
Uh, Friday, uh, big thing taken out of there, at least in my opinion, turnovers. Uh, you guys did a good job creating them and, and falling on them. Um, is there anything that you guys do special? Like, are you practicing strip, stripping the ball or anything like that? Or I don't know. You seem to, to do pretty well on that on Friday. Uh, no, I wouldn't say we focus on that specifically. I think it was just we were just ready to play, and we just some, something just went our way that game. And defense uh, for you guys last year, not so hot. 40-plus points a game that you allowed. And then Friday, only two scores, under 100 rushing yards. You guys held CV to. What, what's changed or what's improved on the defensive end? I think the defensive end is just maturity-wise. You know, last year we had a lot of sophomores and juniors. This year it's mostly just seniors and juniors. I think that's what's really improved it. What's been the process as far as getting on the same page with Luke from last year to this year? You guys been out here a lot over the summer. Um, yeah, uh, since Luke didn't start last year, it's kind of – it was a hard change. All summer we were out here running routes. Um, we did a lot of seven on seven stuff. We did a camp in Penn State, um, a camp at Wilson that we do every year. But it was tough, it was challenging, but we all like Luke, he's a good quarterback, so we're pretty excited to have him. Well, Luke brings leadership, number one, and, and, and Luke's got that, uh, that great demeanor for a quarterback. He's confident, he's not a kid that's frustrated with the last play. He's the next play type of kid, so he's got a great demeanor to be quarterback. I'm sure he's a little nervous at the start of the game. Um, you know, his first start um, at the beginning of the season. He did wrap up the season the last three weeks playing for us last year, but uh, I was happy for him. He's done a nice job. He's worked hard, and uh, some of the fruits of his labor started to show up, so we're happy for him. We have a big rival game this week with LS, and uh, I know they're they're down a big gun player, and it's it's just yeah I feel bad for the kid that his season's ended, but at the same time, Coach Mannion's going to have them ready to play football, and that'll be a rally cry for them. And it's a big rivalry for us too. They're next door neighbors here, so it's on their turf. Uh, yeah, I expect a good game out of them. I'm sure he's put the shoulder of the responsibility, maybe on the offensive line more so this week. But his kids will pick it up and be ready to play. It'll be a fun week. All right, thanks to the Comet players and coach for making time for us out here at Millersville. Yes. Um, wanted to mention quick, there's two games coming up this Thursday. Octorator is traveling to Anvil Cleuna. I'll be covering that one. So, and Cocalco is traveling to Cedar Cliff. Jeff will be covering that one. Um, so follow along our coverage on Thursday night. And then Friday, we wanted to hit on one more top game. Hempfield, 1-0, traveling to Mannheim Central, 1-0. Tell us about that one. Interesting. Thursday night football. You ready for that? <laughs> See <Classic. it's>, Yeah. <laughs> See you over at Cedar Cliff. Okay, Hempfield at Mannheim Central. A couple of 1-0 teams. Uh, Hempfield, 26-3 over Dallas Town last week. Uh, Knights D, good. Held Dallas Town to 60 rushing yards. That's it. And Luke Miller, we were wondering who was going get to the, get the carries with Matt Houston gone. Luke Miller is your answer. 131 rushing yards on a score. Uh, Hempfield had well over 200 rushing yards. Colin Peters had 70-plus. Tanner Hess had 70-plus. Good night for the Knights all around. Good win over Dallas Town, which is usually a good 6A program, district kind of team. Central squeaked past Susquehanna Township 16 to 7. Interesting note here. Barons get a special teams touchdown from Chris Pagano and three field goals from Nate Reed. No offensive touchdowns for Manheim Central. First time since 2015 that Central did not score an offensive touchdown in a game. And who was that against? Hempfield. Hempfield. They lost <laughs> 10 to 3, and I believe I covered that. Probably. I probably did, yes. Uh, so interesting matchup here. One other notable in this game, Evan Simon, All-State quarterback from Anaheim Central, is playing safety this season. Started at safety for the first time in, in his career against Hannah and had 12 tackles. Wow. Hello. Uh, Who knew the kid can play defense? Uh, love this matchup. This should be a fun game. Central won 28-7 last year on a Saturday rainout game. Uh, somebody goes to 2-0 here. Uh, should be a good one. Barons, Black Knights on Friday. Check that one out. And that's all I have for you today. All right. Yeah, and again on Friday, we'll be covering Lancaster Catholic at Columbia. And you can follow along all of the 14 games involving the LL League football teams this Friday on the Lancaster Online homepage. The scoreboard, I'll be running that. He'll be covering Columbia Catholic. So thanks to uh, Penn Manor for having us out here. Thanks to you guys for watching. For Jeff Reinhardt, I'm John Walk. We'll catch you next week.